Welcome to the fifth video blog of 2008. This week was unbelievable. Fergie and I got invited to the Kodak Theater to receive the Song of the Year award. Fergie's Big Girls Don't Cry. Collecting unemployment. Um. I just came from uh, from Germany to start over in America. Jim Tato was one of the first, one of the first publishers who really put me together with a lot of artists. And he said, like, one day next week I could write with this beautiful lady. And, <laughs> and I was like, is the studio free at Sony? And so it was. Yeah. Had half a day, and it was yeah. quite an session. Yeah, he just had his guitar, and I had my. Uh, my soul poured out onto a paper and a digi recorder, and, and here it is. And we wrote the song in 2002, so it really took four years until that song actually saw the light of day. And because of William Dorella and David Sonnenberg, our yes. beloved number one Thank manager, Thank you, our manager. <laughs> <laughs> the song actually made it on the record. Yes, thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. 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 After that, the beautiful. Christina Millian came to my hotel room. Oh. Hey everybody! Hi! In the studio, no, in the hotel room with Christina <laughs> yeah. Millian. <laughs> Not many people get in the hotel with me. <laughs> Hi everybody! Christina Millian. Uh, Millian? Millian? Millian. Millian. So began. Yay! Began, right? We just wrote our first song. We said it, yes. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we already made a really wonderful, very fun record from scratch. The most wonderful experience I've ever had making a record, actually. It was really cool. Aww. And we just got done right now looking at this beautiful view of LA. <laughs> you should see it during the day. Yay. Yeah, but I had a wonderful time. and. Here's to one song, here's to many more. It almost looks better on your account, on your <laughs> Apple thing. <laughs> there was a street vendor and he said, look, I got all these oranges for seven dollars, you can have them. And I am a fruit freak, I just couldn't resist. And he got them all. So. Oh. <laughs> these are my oranges. He has to eat them all in, what, five days? <laughs> yeah, probably give them away. You want some oranges? Sure, I'll take some oranges. Yeah, they're good. And mangoes. Oh, mangoes. Mm. Mangoes. Okay. Okay, so I will do the song called Song of You. <laughs> if I could have one wish, if I could be granted this, I know just what I. Hello! <laughs> Sing something for us today. Sure, why not? Cool. I'm Millie, is in love with someone else because she's good at learning how to be. I'm Millie, say love me, all the words she posts upon her mirror. Come on. 
And then after that, Apple asked me if I would do a panel about... Yeah. Big boys the fire. I get together with artists, usually not in studios, but in, in hotel rooms or in their homes or other locations. We wrote a song once about the Hollywood sign on the hill we walked up. <laughs> but inspiration, because really you want great inspiration to write. So I connect those basic raw ideas and get with the artist who's going to sing the song. And then it's more like a ball game. I bounce my idea forward and then get another idea back and we tell each other when it sucks. And eventually we reach a compromise that we think is good. Brilliant. Okay, we have to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Hey, hey, hey everybody. everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That's so corny. Okay, please tune in next time again. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.